Now, Channel 3, early warning weather. All right, temperatures were certainly cooler than average today. The wind was up as well. Tomorrow will be not quite as bright, but also a day featuring some warmer weather and a wind that won't be as strong. Between now and then, great viewing of the pink supermoon will be at its fullest after rising after sunset at 1132 tonight. It is after midnight that we'll start to see clouds increase. It's in perigee, so that means basically at a point slightly closer to Earth than usual that will allow it to look maybe a little bit larger than normal, a little more luminous uh, and then also it's not actually pink in color. The name comes from a spring wildfire that uh, becomes quite numerous in the spring, uh, especially here along the East Coast. So great viewing for that as we check out our view from Torrington. We're cloud free here in the five o'clock hour on our Monday evening. A nice scene coming in from Hartford as well. 56 northwest wind at 14 and there's our view from New Haven. Again, that wind that is up currently will be subsiding as the evening progresses into the overnight hour. So uh, right now we range from the mid 50s to low 60s along the 95 quarter. We've got low and mid 50s inland. In fact, these current temps right in line with our, our highs so far for the day. And there's that northwesterly wind uh, sustained between uh, 10 and 20 miles an hour in many locations. So region wide, uh, not much happening with high pressure in control, uh, actually with high pressure to our south and a storm system off to our northeast. Uh, we've got that northwest wind, but high pressure bringing us the dry and clear skies for today. As it moves offshore on the backside of it tomorrow, a southwesterly flow develops that will help to bring in milder air. We've got a warm front that moves through tomorrow night that could generate a couple of showers and then eventually we trend a bit warmer as well as unsettled, especially toward the end of the week. So future cast this evening showing the mainly clear skies again. Good for viewing the pink supermoon this evening and then as we head toward daybreak tomorrow clouds begin to increase tomorrow. We'll see a mix of sun and clouds uh, dry weather for our Tuesday. Here comes that warm front again. Some spotty showers tomorrow night into the pre dawn hours of Wednesday. Then Wednesday again we'll see a partly to at times mostly cloudy sky with enough sunshine though temperatures could reach or exceed the 80 degree mark, especially inland. We're going to be watching thunderstorms developing toward northwest later Wednesday that head in the general direction of northwest Connecticut as we head toward and after sunset. So in the meantime tonight, upper 30s to near 40 across the state to start our Tuesday tomorrow afternoon, upper 60s and low 70s. So uh, we swing the pendulum from below average today to well above by just 24 hours from now. So on our early warning seven day forecast into the low 80s, we go on Wednesday again a chance for some late day isolated thunderstorms. Then on Thursday, Right now, given that we're seeing perhaps more clouds and sun and the chance for some afternoon and evening showers, temps likely held in the mid 70s. However, if it turns out to be a drier day with more sunshine, we could soar into the 80s, surpassing temps for Wednesday. So Thursday, one of those kind of bust potential days. Then on Friday, a cold front moves through. That will bring the chance for rain, possibly some rumbles of thunder behind that cold front, trending cooler for the weekend. Low 60s, windy with a partly to mostly sunny sky on Saturday. Mid and upper 60s on Sunday, less wind. And then back into the 70 to 75 five degree range by Monday of next week.